Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Today I'm going to be discussing the oblique muscles. There are two layers of the oblique muscles. The internal obliques are the deeper layer and the external obliques are the more superficial layer. The internal obliques originate in the thoracolumbar fascia, in the anterior aspect of the iliac crest in the inguinal ligament. They run anterior and superior, and they attach to the costal cartilage of ribs number 9, 10, 11, and 12, and to the linea alba. They are innervated by the lower six thoracic nerves and the first lumbar nerve. Their actions are to abduct the trunk, to rotate the trunk, to support the abdominal wall, and to aid in forced respiration. Also, they help to increase interabdominal pressure. The external obliques originate on the external surface of ribs number 5 through 12. The fibers run anterior and inferior, which is perpendicular to the fibers of the internal obliques, which run anterior and superior. The external obliques insert into the flat, the flat broad aponeurosis, which terminates at the linea alba, also inserts into the anterior iliac spine, the pubic tubercle, and the external lip of the anterior half of the iliac crest. These muscles are innervated by the ventral primary rami of number T7 through T12 nerves. The action of the external obliques is abduction of the trunk, rotation of the trunk, supporting the abdominal wall, helping in forced respiration, and also in helping to increase the, inter, the intra-abdominal pressure. 